Well, as usual, it's terrific to be with you, and I'm not quite sure how long that tent's going to stay up for, um, because, you know, we're well and truly into autumn now. And I've been thinking about humility, and it's hard to talk about humility because I want to stay humble. And yet, this attitude of surrender, self-surrender to Jesus, and this idea of a life conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, or a life that we allow to become molded into Christ's image, is something so fundamental to our Christian faith. And it runs counter to our culture. In a sense, it runs counter to our very nature as human beings, because the way I see it, we were created to have dominion. Jesus said, be fruitful and multiply, multiply have dominion over the earth, and be a good caretaker of this earth. But of course, we blew it. And uh, we all know the story of Adam and Eve, and we know that as humanity, as a people, we became estranged from God, separated from the genuine and true, deep down, heartfelt purposes that God, the Father, our Creator, had for us, His intention when He created the human race. And so it's all about, as if I can use this expression from the 60s, we've got to get back to the garden. I'm in the garden, I know, but we have to get back to the Garden of Eden. But we can't do it on our own strength. Um, you know, we, in the 60s we tried um, and it didn't work. But through Christ Jesus our Lord, we can actually return to a better state than we were even in that primeval garden of Eden, that paradise here on earth. And it is only through our acknowledgement of Jesus Christ and our surrender to Him and our willingness to be pliable in our heart and mind and spirit to the divine will rather than our own carnal, natural, sense-based will. You know, we've only got five physical senses and so we tend to make our decisions and everything that we plan and desire and seek and work toward is tending to be rooted to those five physical senses. But there's a sixth sense and that sense of belonging to God, the sense of having the Holy Spirit with us. And Jesus said that He is the gate, and that anyone who comes in any other way is a thief and a robber. And He's the entrance, the sheepfold. And so today I want to leave you with this question. Are you in the sheepfold? of Christ? Are you in the protective custody of the Holy Spirit? I hope and I trust that if you're not, that this day will be the day when you make a decision to surrender all to Jesus into His loving hands as He leads us each together and individually into the heart of God to return us to that Eden paradise that God has prepared for us through His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Remember, it was Jesus, the unique sacrifice upon the cross that opened up the pathway for the death of our old self. And through rising from the dead, the resurrection and newness of life that He offers to those who call upon the name of Jesus. So I hope this has helped you today. God bless you. This is John Ruffle.